one of the improvements to NetFab 2025 is in the support generation. Now that we have these two parts within our build volume, let's go ahead and generate supports by opening the support editor. As we are in a Stratasys Origin 1 interface, we can choose from one of the many uh, support scripts that Origin uh, recommends for this printer. Here, we're going to execute a uh, support script that creates uh, multiple actions. As you can see, we have bar zone areas for different ones. And in the past, after generating the support, you had to go to the list tab and select each action to see the outcome of that action. With the 2025 version, we have the ability to create a custom support. I'm just going to call this uh, color. So once you customize a support script, you can now go to the definition of the action and assign unique colors. After selecting the color and pressing pick color, you can now choose uh, a unique color for each action. In this case, I will choose a unique color for two of the actions, save and execute. The outcome will be unique colors for the outcome of each action. As you can see, we have the blue supports that represents what we did with the first action and the orange ones that represents what we did with the second one. This makes it much easier to identify when you're looking at a support with uh, multiple actions and you can customize it as well. Uh, so here, let's make a quick change to our bar contour, uh, change our polygon corner count from 6 to 12, for example, and the upper width on parts, let's make it, say, 1.5, save and execute, and we know that only the blue supports will be updated. And here we have the outcome. With the 2025 version of NetFab, within the support structure generation, you have the ability to visualize and customize your supports to be able to print your parts successfully.